Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm excited to bring back You Should Be Playing. Now I did one of these videos a long long time ago about Castlevania uh, HD or Castlevania. I'm, I always screw up the game but it's the multiplayer focused Castlevania. I want to say it is Harmony of Dissonance. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I always screw it up but I love that Xbox 360 arcade title. Today I want to take the time and the opportunity to sit here and talk about something that is currently in beta that is launching next Tuesday. I think it is the best free to play game I have personally ever played. I'm not a big free to play uh, advocate but this is a game I can get behind and it is Splitgate. If you don't know what Splitgate is, Splitgate is basically Halo meets Portal. It plays almost I'd almost argue, at least in defense of uh, Halo Guardians, it plays better than Halo Guardians, uh, Halo 5 Guardians, I should say, but uh, it's basically Halo meets Portal, exactly like it sounds. So it's Halo, but you also have the ability to throw down portals, and that's really awesome. I've had a blast playing this, this game since I downloaded the beta. I've actually devoted a lot of time to it in the last week. It's kind of one of the only things I've been playing uh, besides, I finally sat down and played Spider-Man Miles Morales. That's not the purpose of today's video. Splitgate is developed by 1047 Games. They are a relatively new studio from my understanding. Uh, they seem to have a real passion for Halo because this game just oozes that 4v4 arena Halo based uh, shooter. But it's a little more faster paced than a traditional Halo game. There is a sprint, there is aiming down the sights, uh, which is something that was only introduced in Halo 5. And I think there's a lot of really strong elements of this game and i mean yeah sure it's free to play free to play is a really really dirty word and i am not that, like i made this series only to talk about games that i am passionate about games that i like i'm not being paid by this company to talk about this game whatsoever this is literally just something i saw a little scuttlebutt about online and thought hey i should check this out this seems really interesting in the last week i've seen this game grow from about 1,000 concurrent players to 65,000 concurrent players since they opened up the betas for the PS4 slash PS5 and Xbox One slash Series X and S. And it's just, it's really booming and it's it really shows. There have actually had server issues and I commend the developer for, uh, you know, really working on controlling those issues and trying to figure out. It's, it's just a proof that the concept works and it's a really awesome game. I've had a blast playing this game. Obviously, I'm a big team SWAT fan. That's my favorite mode from Halo. And uh, they have their own version of SWAT here in this game, and it, it's awesome. Some of the best multiplayer I've played in a while. And as you guys know, and I've talked about this on the channel, I, in the last like four or five years, I've kind of strayed away from multiplayer. I've kind of gotten back into single player experiences and you know, if a game comes out and it wants to be a multiplayer game, I kind of just turn that off and I just don't touch the multiplayer mode because I just don't really care. And that's why I was, even myself, I was surprised. Maybe it's just because I'm starved for Halo Infinite, which will be out later this year, but I really wanted this perfect, uh, you know, multiplayer component. It's kind of like Call of Duty, but I'm also burned out on Call of Duty. I didn't even play Black Ops Cold War. And I played very little of the multiplayer of the Modern Warfare reboot. All I thought the multiplayer for that game actually was pretty good. So, But this is the most fun I've had with a multiplayer experience in years. Um, it, it's free to play. And the other thing I'll say about it is, yes, is it going to have monetization? Sure. Any free to play game has to have some sort of monetization or else it doesn't make sense. No developer is just going to give you a free game. And so the monetization of this game is all purely cosmetic. And I think that's why I really enjoy it. Like a lot of it seems like you can unlock it by playing the game, but there is cosmetic, you know, microtransactions and whatnot. I'm never going to drop a dime into this game personally, but I'm enjoying my time with it enough that I can confidently sit here and make a video and say, you should be playing Splitgate. It's, it's really, really well made. And I think it's worth your time. Especially if, you know, we're in the summer now and you're sitting here and you're thinking like, I need something to play before Halo Infinite this fall. Or if you're, you know, Call of Duty fan, you want to do that. And the other thing I'll point out here, and I think this is why it's so refreshing, is that every single big company right now is trying to chase that Battle Royale dragon. You know, we have Apex, Fortnite, all those big games. And you see other Battle Royales coming out that are bombing. 
I mean, you see Hyperscape, uh, Ubisoft's Battle Royale, which really, really massively bombed. You see things like uh, the recently announced Ubisoft. Oh, we're talking about Ubisoft again here. Uh, X Defiant, which just looks like hot, hot garbage. And it's refreshing to see somebody take a stance and say, hey, we're making a free-to-play multiplayer shooter, but it's not a Battle Royale, which is another reason why I'm really excited about Halo's multiplayer, because it's not going to have a Battle Royale component. Battle Royale, I don't necessarily think that Battle Royale is a bad mode. I think it's overdone. I think so many people have tried to do it now that it's time to drop that. And I mean, I, no disrespect to people out there who play Fortnite or Apex and, and like those experiences. I have played both, but... I just don't care for that game mode and I think it's incredibly overdone in one note in a way that this just seems even more refreshing right now. Splitgate, it's out right now. You can actually download the full version of the game and play it even though it still says it's in beta. Uh, I've been playing it on the Xbox Series X. It looks phenomenal. I have also tried it on PC. I actually recently just got a brand new 2K uh, 165 hertz monitor. So I tried a little bit there very smooth either route you go and I've just been having a blast. I've always preferred the uh, Xbox controller for first person shooters and it's a no-brainer here. It just feels right on the Xbox but I'm sure the PlayStation version of it is just fine as well. So anyways guys that's it for this episode of You Should Be Playing. I really think you should give Splitgate a try. I think it's a really awesome game. As always remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and until next time.